subscribe All right. button. You, you are James Reedy. Yes, I am. Uh, so you, and I, I'm, I'm James Reedy, and I would love to introduce my family to okay. you. Okay. This is our oldest daughter, Muriel. Okay. Yes, yeah, she's going to be 10. 10. This is our Ella Rose, and she's <laughs> going to be 7. And this is our youngest daughter, Anaya. And she's going to be 11 Almost months. 11 months old. And this is our darling Charlotte. Okay. She's mom. She's, she's the mom. The one. She's the oh, she, Hey, you're done talking to me now. You were scared of me when I first got here. All right, well, you're, from, you're, you're from Pennsylvania? No, I'm from Chicago. I was born in Chicago. Born in Chicago. And I have lived, um, I've lived in New York. I've lived in San Francisco. I've lived in Sydney and Brisbane and Tasmania. And I've lived in a whole lot of places. Okay. Yeah. And I've just been a traveler. Daddy, uh, Tasmania. Tasmania. In, in the book of Magic Puzzles. That's remember? right. That's right. The what? That. There's a book called The Magic Possum. Possum, okay. Yeah. About Australia. About Australia? Yeah. Okay. All right. So you've been a world traveler not a long, uh, besides just being a uh, yeah. in the United States? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was guest artist in that part of the world, Australia and New Zealand. Okay. And um, I had uh, many years in New York City, uh, a woman who was with the Australian Magic uh, <laughs> Uh, Association for Dance and Education came and took my classes. Said, "Will you come to Australia?" All right, and I did that. All right, we're getting ahead of ourselves. But go ahead and tell them what you did. Go ahead and tell them what you did. What your profession was. So I was a modern dancer in Chicago, in San Francisco, in New York. I lived in New York for ten years. Yeah. And um, I left in 1980 and was hired as an artist in residence at Allegheny College in okay. Louisville, Pennsylvania. I spent 30 years. 30 there. years at the college. 30 years, just retired. Just retired. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. That's so, so, so uh, this is a real dance instructor. Well, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you could so, say that, yeah. And, well, what, what gets me, you know, is uh, you was a... Uh, Say it again. You was a uh, when you was in Australia. You was a guest artist. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. And I was an artist in residence at Allegheny College. That now was, that was my title. Now I know a little bit about watching dancing. Yeah. I've been watching my granddaughter for the last sixteen years. Now I'm not really technical, yeah. but I can pick out the best athletes in the bunch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And and hey, dancers are athletes. I don't care what anybody. Incredible. Athletes. Huh? There are some incredible athletes yeah. that, that that dance. Yeah. And so you were you taught at Allegheny. Yeah. For 30 years. Yeah. And, but how long did you dance? Um, I'm still dancing. Oh, you're still dancing? Still dancing, yeah. Well, dance I do, I do, I do too. Large, I do too in the shower whenever I'm trying to stand on one foot to that's, watch my other that's foot. That's what talking about. <laughs> it's the dance of life. It's right? the dance it of life, yes, really, yes, yeah. yes. And I look at, I mean, I have these wonderful you know, kids. Yes, beautiful kids. You know, they're uh -huh. constantly wanting to dance around. Oh, uh, you know? uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to talk about Pokemon? Pokemon. Oh, yeah. They, they, hey, they're typical kids. Oh, they're typical sure kids. They sure right. Where were you born? Chicago. You were born in Chicago. Yeah. Born in and Chicago. what school of dance did you go to when you were there? Well, uh, actually, I was a, um, a preppy kid, you know, a Catholic preparatory school. Cool, yes. And then um, went to college, then went to law school ran into, and I was an athlete in college, yeah. in, in high school, you know, uh, and ran into a, a teacher when I was a freshman in law school. Uh -huh. And that teacher uh, kind of opened my eyes in terms of uh, supplying me with, with experiences uh -huh. of my own self moving. And that's when I felt most of myself. Yeah. Is when I was moving. So I really didn't even start dance until I was like 21, 21, 22. 21, 22. Yeah. And uh, I went to a ballet class with the little kids. Yeah. In the point shoes. And the yeah. The number, you know. Yeah. Went to modern class, went to African, went to jazz, went to, you know, because I really wanted to. Um, experience all sense, of it yeah of, you know what is this dance that yeah. i'm you know so attracted to it was strange for me you know i was a west side of chicago city kid 
what's with this dance thing, yeah. you know? And we're, we're talking in the, well, 72, yeah. 73, you know? Yeah. Men were men. And yeah, men were men. Dance, you know, and so I had all of that stuff to, you know, kind of move through and yeah. untangle, you know, within my own self, right? And, um, really, I was chasing a kind of a, uh, what are we as a human being? And, you know, who, who are, who am I? Who am right? I, yes. It's that big who am I question, you know? And the who am I brought me to um, mindfulness meditation. I was out in Boulder, Colorado for a couple of years and studying what's called somatic movement. Uh -huh. And I thought my career was over, right? Because I was at that point like 28 years old, right? I had danced in Chicago and performed with a modern dance company, the Chicago Moving Company it was yeah. called. And uh, so I thought, okay, well, I'm done, you know, with that. I'm too old now. And I was rolling around in a, in a class that I was taking in Boulder. And a woman kind of whispered in my ear. She said, go to New York City. See Eric Hawkins. Eric Hawkins was uh, Martha Graham's husband, started the Martha Graham company with Martha. You know, he was, yeah. he was the other side of her, right? And... Ended up going to New York. I got in a bus, went to New York, and ended up there for a decade working with a traveling company in New York City. Uh -huh. uh, chamber orchestras, full orchestras, 36 violins, yeah. you know, beautiful, all live music, no, rec no recorded music ever, ever, yeah. ever, 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 ever. ever. Yeah. You know, all live stuff. It was like, uh, wow. You know? And I brought that sensibility with me to Australia in the early 90s, and then Allegheny College, yeah. right? Just to make the story really short, because it's a big, big old story. story. It's, it, yeah, I got a, you know, I got a story for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. That, that was intriguing when I started talking to you. You was a very intriguing individual to me, more so than the bus, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't meet people like you every day of the week, you know? Yeah, um, well, I, you know, I know we're all on a kind of a journey. Yeah. And I know we're all curious. Yes. And and some of us, you know, I was lucky in one kind of way. I didn't get married till I was sixty. Yeah. Right. So I had a lot of searching time, yeah. you know, and contemplative time and exploring time, right? Yeah. And I had no idea how intense it is to be a parent. You did. No man. <laughs> I walked into that one. <laughs> You know, I was uh, <laughs> <I've>, tight <I've>, shut. <laughs> well, I, I tell you, I knew nothing. I, well, know. me and baby doll been married 52 years. We're 53 in June. Wow. And we got married right out of high school. Yeah, yeah. Well, in fact, I had to wait on her two years to get out of high school. Oh, you know, we, yeah. I started, I was 17, she was 16 when we started dating. Yeah. So I had to wait on her two years to get out of high school. And when I married her, I took her off a farm and she was milking a cow when we got married. Her daddy would let her sell the excess milk and eggs yeah. uh, for spending money if she milked a cow. So, so I married the milkmaid. I really married the milkmaid, you know. <laughs> well, isn't it, isn't it something to be a parent? Oh, yes. I mean, the teachings around that, the realizations, you know, and all the my, lessons. Well, my oldest son is pushing 50. Really? Yes. But he's still a baby. He'll all, they'll always, always be, be your baby. baby. They'll yeah, always yeah. be your baby. Yeah. They'll always yeah. be your baby. So. And, it, you know, they know it. Oh, yeah. And it matters. Oh, yeah. It does. Yeah. <laughs> Makes them feel good. The, Charlotte, I'll tell you this. The thing my wife struggles with more than anything, she was queen bee till they was about 18 or 19 years old. Some girls come along and a um. guy come along. She's no longer queen bee. She struggles with not being queen bee in their life. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you that, and you will too. Yeah, uh, you will more. You you struggle with it more than James does. I promise you that. Yeah. Well, right now, I mean, Mama is like the source. You know? see it. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Totally. Yeah. And, and I am learning so much about my own heart. Yeah. And, and you didn't know parts that you didn't know was there. Yeah. You didn't even know they were there. Didn't didn't realize yeah. at all. Yeah. And that this has been a, a great awakening, if you will, you yes. know, to that kind yes. of parental love and caring. And yeah. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, it don't matter what they do, you'll still love them. 
Isn't it you strange? <laughs> <laughs> you don't matter how it turn out, you'll still love them. Yeah, I will. Know? And yeah. and I would like to be able to be that way with everyone. Right. So in one kind of way, they're my greatest teachers. Yeah, of how you're supposed to treat everybody. You're exactly. supposed to treat everybody like like you want to be treated the golden rule and all that kind yeah. of stuff. And, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. And and forgive and forgive. Oh yeah, and, and forgive. forgive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> over and over. Well, and over that, that's the premises of getting along in life is forgiving. Yeah. You know, if you if you because people people don't do things that you don't agree with or you you think. They done you wrong, but, oh. but you got to forgive them. You no. got to move on. Otherwise, it's us, the ones who can't forgive. Well, yeah, we're, we're the, the one suffering. The, you know? Well, we we're the one that suffered. Yeah, yeah. But I'll I'll tell y'all this was a unique individual, and hey, I've enjoyed talking to you. I appreciate you letting me film you oh, and your beautiful yeah. family. Oh, and everything. You're yeah. So. Uh, thank you, Michael. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, you, James. Y'all yeah. have a great day. You too. This is Road Bounce and Chaos, and we're out. Well, I made this journey. We pray we'll see you in the rapture.